there is an element of perspective here. Never having to stop at the pump, it sounds like a dream with price per gallon sitting at just under $4 right now. But are electric vehicles really a better alternative in a place like Phoenix with its extreme heat? Well, you definitely get a decrease in range because the AC is working so hard. Jean-Luc LaProvost is a self-proclaimed car guy into fast, loud cars with big gas-guzzling engines. But he bought a quiet little Tesla two years ago. Yes, it's worth it. Absolutely, it's worth it. In a recent study by Recurrent, a company which tracks EV battery efficiency, Analysts found the higher the temperature, the more loss of range, meaning the distance you can drive, an EV driver will experience. Data collected by the company shows the range loss at 80 degrees is about 2.8 percent, at 90 degrees, 5 percent, but the range loss at 100 degrees, around 31 percent. They prefaced that with a disclaimer saying data for temperatures that high is very limited. A combustion engine vehicle can use gas, which lowers your miles per gallon, but people don't experience that as, as much because, you know, they fill up at the next gas station. And an electric car becomes more noticeable, although we see that it's much smaller than people often expect. Andy Garberson with Recurrent says a car uses much more energy trying to warm the car in the cold months than trying to keep it cool in the summer. So in the winter, when you're in Minneapolis, people notice that an electric car has less range because maybe it's zero degrees Fahrenheit and they're warming the cabin to 70 degrees. So that's a 70 degree difference. It's less of an issue in the summer months because it's 90 or 100 degrees. You're dropping it to 70. That's 20 or 30 degrees. Garberson says to mitigate some of the energy needed to cool your car, electric vehicle drivers should precondition their battery while the car is plugged in and also try to park in shaded areas. So at the end of the day, yes, you will get less range if you're using the AC in an EV, but the same thing goes for gas-powered cars getting less miles per gallon with the AC on. So it's just sort of a trade-off. Live in Phoenix, Angie Cayley for Arizona's Family. All right, very interesting. Angie, thanks.